friends subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon thank you very much important words before starting nostalgia number one a longing for home or family surroundings homesickness number two a bittersweet yearning for the things of the past number third reminiscence of the speaker's childhood or younger years imagery number first the work of one who makes images or visible representation of objects Number two, imitation work. Hello, all my dear students. It's Ms. is once again in front of you to help. Today, I'm going to tell you about a short nostalgic poem from Basel first year, which is Piano. This poem is composed by David Herbert Lawrence, an English poet, novelist, and short story writer. This poem was composed in the year 1918. The main theme of this poem is nostalgia that the speaker feels for his happy, memorable childhood days of pastime related with his family as well as family members. There are altogether three stingers here in this poem where we can find perfect use of imagery. Here the speaker has related his own experiences through his own point of view. Here in the first stanza, the speaker has presented a setting of comfortable room where the speaker is sitting along with a woman who is singing softly playing piano. The speaker is listening to her song. While listening to her song, the speaker remembers the scene of his early childhood days where he finds himself sitting along with his mother who is playing piano. The speaker as a small kid is listening to the music of piano's string and even brushing his mother's balanced feet. His mother keeps on playing piano with a smiling face without having any feel of disturbance. The scene of woman at the piano singing reminds the speaker the lovable image of his smiling mother at the piano in his early childhood days. In the second stanza, the speaker realizes that the song of woman at the piano betrays him and takes him to his early childhood days. He realizes that it is just a romantic past. He is an adult man of present time who wants to live in the present facing the realities. But the woman at the piano is quite a skillful player with sweet melodious voice. Here the speaker tries his best to control himself, but he can't. The mastery of Omen's song at the piano takes the speaker back again to his boyhood days where he remembers his family members and even his beautiful house for that his heart always weeps to belong. He remembers all his family members inside warm and comfortable room during winter siege. He remembers tinkling music of the piano too that guides all his family members during hymns of every Sunday evenings. In the third stanza, the speaker doesn't want to hear Omen's song anymore. He tries to escape his pajan reality. For him, the Omen song is vain though he sings quite passionately at the great black piano. The music of piano has already done its tremendous task of taking the speaker to his happy, memorable childhood days of pastime. The speaker feels his childhood days upon him. He doesn't want to be an adult man anymore. He wants to forget his present completely. He feels the omen song as the sound. He mentions that his manhood is cast down in the flood of remembrance. He wants to be lost in the happy remembrance of his past days. 
Finally, the speaker starts crying like a baby, longing for his happy, memorable childhood days of pastime. This poem, Piano, has presented powerful nostalgic feelings that make the speaker too much sentimental. He tries his best to control himself while listening to the omen song, but the omen is really very skillful player as well as singer. She keeps on singing her song. A sweet voice and the melodious music of piano take the speaker to his childhood days twice. At first, the speaker loses himself in the reminiscence of his early childhood days. He feels his childhood days upon him, where he remembers the view of his mother at the piano playing and sees his mother's lovely smiling face. The speaker, as a small kid, is listening to the melodious music of piano and sees his mother's smiling glance at him. The speaker controls himself this time and comes to his real present, thinking that the omen song at the piano betrays him. He realizes his past as unreal and wants to live in his real present facing the realities as an adult man. But the next time, the speaker again loses his control over himself. This time, the powerful feelings of his boyhood days entangle him. The mastery of omen song at the piano make the speaker forget his present completely. The speaker wants to be lost in his boyhood days in the memory of his family members. For him, the omen song, his present reality and his manhood don't have any value. He wants to forget all this thing and live in the past memory of his house family members, pianos, music, Sunday evening hymns, comfortable room, etc. He even cries like a baby longing for his happy, memorable childhood days of pastime. Here, the speaker has presented various images in this poem. Number first image, the image of omen and the piano singing to the speaker in the evening time inside comfortable room. Second image, the image of speaker's early childhood days with his mother who is playing piano. Number third image, the image of speaker's boyhood days along with his family members during hymns of every Sunday evening. So this is all in all about this short nostalgic poem, Piano by David Herbert Lawrence. Here, the charm of music has created nostalgic feelings for the speaker who tries to escape his present reality and want to live in his happy, memorable childhood days of pastime. Here, the song of omen and melodious music of piano have created a way for the speaker to recall his happy, memorable childhood days of pastime. Now, I would like to present you this poem's four-level study which will help you in your examination. Thank you for watching this video. We'll meet again in my next video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care and don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Thank you very much.